Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to design this custom light switch wall plate just like the one seen here. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is to come on up here and do a new design. All right, and we're going to change our units. Go to document settings and click on this little icon. And there's a good chance you may be 3D printing this, so 3D printers use millimeters, so you won't have to scale this later. So we'll start our units off in millimeters to make things easy, just in case you want to 3D print this. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now let's go ahead and start a new sketch here on the XY plane. We're going to draw a rectangle. Let's go to Create and Rectangle, and we are going to do a center rectangle. And we are going to start here at our origin, and we're going to drag out a rectangle. I'm going to zoom out here, and we want it to be... 116 millimeters by 70 millimeters. Enter. Now we're going to draw another center rectangle starting at our origin and we're going to make a smaller one for our, our light switch here and it's going to be a distance of 25 hit the tab button by 13 and then enter. Okay, let's go ahead now and finish our sketch. We are going to extrude this guy out a distance of five millimeters. So click on this shaded portion, type in five and hit okay. Now let's go ahead and apply a fillet around the exterior here. And we wanna do a four millimeter fillet. Go ahead and type in four now and hit OK. Next, we have to make some holes to uh, so we can attach our wall plate cover to the wall here and screw it in. So we're going to start a sketch right here on the surface. And we're going to come on up here to create. We're going to grab a point and we're going to make a point somewhere in this area right here. OK, and another one down here. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and dimension it so that it's placed appropriately. And we want the distance from the top edge here to be 31 millimeters. And the distance from the side edge to be 35. Okay, same thing for this one. We want this distance to be 31 millimeters and this distance and it might give me that it's over constrained because I may have accidentally placed a vertical constraint uh, on there so 35 and we're good okay let's go ahead now and finish our sketch we got to place some holes now where these points are so we're gonna come on up here to the hole and we're gonna click on the points that we want to make and we obviously don't want them that big so uh, we're gonna make the distance we're going to make it a through hole, so we're going to make it through all. All right, and we want, let's see here, let's do a countersink hole. We want, um, we want th this distance right here to be five millimeters, and this distance right here to be seven millimeters, and we want a 90 degree angle, and everything else. Um, looks good. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Let's go ahead and flip this guy over so you see the back side. Now if you're 3D printing this, you may not want to shell this because for those of you who 3D print, you have a nice flat surface to start printing on. Um, you could probably leave it just like this and not shell it. You could also 3D print it if you shell it. You'd probably, you just have to add supports. All right, so that's entirely up to you. Um, it will save you probably material, but depending upon how hollow you make it. But anyways, let's go ahead now and shell this guy. So I'm going to, let's find the shell here and right here. And I'm going to click on this back surface and I want to shell it a distance of 1.5 and go ahead and hit OK. Make sure it, so it says inside and select OK. OK. Looks pretty good. Don't forget to save it. We'll come on up here and do a save and we're just going to call it 
light switch wall plate hit save now let's go ahead and add some custom text feel free to add whatever text you wish to add uh, so come on down here and I'm sorry let's start a sketch right there on that face now let's come down here and use the text tool and what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna this will create a text box and where we click that is the bottom left hand corner of the text box so I'm gonna kinda make it right in here and I'm gonna change the height or basically the font size here to be 8 and I'm gonna call it dark side and I'm gonna change the font here and I downloaded this font online so feel free to if you are making the exact same thing it's called SF distance galaxy uh, let's see here right here and then hit OK and now let's go ahead and center it with our sketch dimension tool so come here to this side and I'm gonna make that let's try eight and that looks pretty centered let's try this side from this side and let's just make that oh an even 12 okay now I'm gonna repeat the same thing up here I'm gonna hit escape and I'm gonna do another text box and I'm gonna click where I want the bottom left hand corner of that text box somewhere right around in here I'm gonna call it the light side oops I wanna have all caps on once again I'm gonna change the font size or height to be 8 and I'm gonna make the same font here SF distant galaxy hit OK and now I'm gonna once again center it with my sketch dimension tool here uh, let's see here that's pretty well centered let's just go with uh, six let's see what that looks like and you can always that's eight so let's just make that seven okay looks pretty good I'm gonna hit escape and finish sketch and I am now going to extrude this font out a distance of three millimeters you know what that's kinda high let's go with two and hit OK alright and when you're done it's always good practice to give your uh, part a material so we're gonna go over to physical material and these um, these wall plates are generally made out of nylon plastic so we're going to come on over here to plastic come on down to nylon and we're just going to drag it over there and that's good let's go ahead and close that let's give it a you can change the color of it if you like with appearance um, let's just go down to paint and select glossy we're going to do a gray or whatever you choose. You can always edit that and select your color. Make it any color you like. I'm just going to kind of make it white and then hit done. And then close. And that's it for this wall plate uh, light switch cover here. So hopefully you learned something. Feel free to make your own and change it and make it um, as unique as you like. All right. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.